Good day to everyone from CashMoto.com Because nothing makes me more excited. On today's video, I'll be giving my review of StepBet. Is it legit? Is it a scam? Can you stack it with other fitness apps? And some tips. Thank you for joining me. If you like what you're seeing, please make sure you give it a little visit to the like, share, and subscribe button down below. If you have any questions, tips, comments, post them in the comment section now. Following up on my review of RunBet. And as you know here at CashMoto, it's not just about video games and technology. It's about making money and trying to stay kind of healthy. So StepBet, much like RunBet, Involves you placing a wager, usually of forty dollars, to commit to four to six, or sometimes eight weeks worth of activity. In this case, walking steps, as the name the name implies. And unlike run bet, it uses something else to track you. Well, something similar. So let's get to it. So with step bet, you commit to except between four and eight weeks worth of, well, I guess a workout routine. You could say. And it involves what they call four active days, usually, and two power days, and only one rest day, with few exceptions. So what does that mean? Well, your active days are a certain amount of steps, and your power days are even more steps, and your step, well, your rest day is just that. And I'd be wondering, well, how the hell does step bet tell me or know what that is? Well, it tells you in the way that it tracks you. You need to have, according to them, a fitness tracking device, not a, not a smartphone, a fitness tracker, such as an Apple Watch, a Fitbit, Samsung Sport Watch, or a Garmin. So what the app does is it goes through your activity history to give you your goals. Meaning, if you are averaging about 4,000 steps a day, it's probably going to give you an active goal of close to 5,000, when you around 10% extra. And in that regard, a power day probably close to 7,000. So everyone's goals are different. That's one of, that's the main difference with, with from Runbed really is that with Stepbed everyone's goals are different whereas with Runbed everyone signs up to do say four 30 minute runs of at 50 minute mile pace. So you could say that well I mean it's depending it could be fair or unfair depending on how you slice it but because of the fact that it's so consistent and you only get one rest day in most of these bets you have a higher probability of making money. Now I said with fitness trackers, but in reality it's Samsung Health works with Samsung uh, Android phones to my knowledge, and I actually used it alongside my Samsung Gear Sport. So it was actually tracking steps on my phone as well because I told it to do so. So you could do it without an activity tracker. And can you stack it on top of other fitness apps? Yes, I was doing my step bet at the same time as I was doing a run bet because they should pay me extra for my damn time because it's very valuable, damn it. As well they should with yours. Granted that involved $80 worth of betting, you know, $40 on step bet, $40 on run bet, but I won both of them because I used Runkeeper on for, for my run bet, I should say. And then the step bet was just tracked automatically by both my watch and my phone. My wife used the Garmin watch for hers. Same type of thing. It just tracked her steps. And then as soon as she synced it with her Garmin app on her phone, boom, she got her credit. So, is it, a, is it legit or is it a scam? It is legit. It is not a scam. Much like with run bet, at the end of it, whoever so qualified switched the pot. Minus step bet's 15%. Cut, of course. Now, quick tip if you want to get started with this, and it is the holidays, so some of us are putting on a little bit of extra holiday padding. I uh, gotta love eggnog. I would recommend that you do your start your first one after eh, at least one kind of slow week because, unfortunately, since it takes it makes your goal from your activity history, if you start getting on that bandwagon before you sign up for the step bet, it's gonna be harder for you when you actually get your goals. Also, at the beginning of every step bet is a uh, warm-up week. So the first week usually doesn't count. It's called a warm-up week because it's just that. It still tracks you. It'll let you know if you got an active day or a, a power day or a rest day. But it will not count towards the total. So you can sign up uh, for a step bet during the warm-up week, even at the end of it if you choose to do so. So you, in theory, could only really care about it for five weeks or depending on the bet four or three, but most of them do have the warm-up week, which is pretty nice, so that way you can see how you measure up. And again, you can stack out other fitness apps. I did stack it on top of my 
uh, sweat coin, which I have yet to use it to get anything, but I have about 1,400 sweat coins. I'm hoping to go for one of those marathon prizes, maybe a $25 gift card. So, yes, at some point I was technically earning from step bet, run bet, and sweat coin. And I'm going to see if there are any others I can use at the same time. I don't care how bogged down the phone gets while I'm walking. But I'm going to see if I can stack on top of all those three more rewarding fitness tracking apps. I will keep you posted on that one. And another tip I would recommend you do not take your rest day at the beginning of the week. It's going to make the rest of your week extremely stressful. I did that once. And after the Monday, I was like, oh, God, gosh darn it. I couldn't like... Mm. I couldn't like rest easy, so then I I just did like a bunch ended up doing a bunch of power days, which brings me to one of my negatives on this is after I finished my step bet, even though I felt motivated and I wanted to keep walking a lot, I didn't sign up for another one because of the fact that then it would have made the goal even higher. So I probably would have had a an active day goal. I had a ninety four hundred active day goal at the beginning, eleven thousand seven hundred for the power. I would probably would have had close to 11,000 for active and close to 13,000 for power. So I really wasn't sure if I wanted to commit to that because it is a big commitment. The other thing is that Stepbed has a membership. You can pay an, a yearly membership with Stepbed. Less than $5 a month. You know what that means, $59.99. But if you sign up for the membership with Stepbed, you can join member-only games. And in those games, the winners split the entire pot, meaning Stepbed does not take the 50%. And you can join up to three games at a time. So I was reading up on some of those games because you can see the posts in the app itself. Of uh, Some people who sign up for three step bets and we're making a decent, decent change. And I'm pretty sure you can because here is my payout from before. So because it is the same company, they consolidated it all now into one view. So as you can see, I did my last run bet. I finished it on November 25th or technically the 24th. I got a payout of 43.47, but my step bet was 53.11 from a $40 bet. And that's after they took the 15% off. So it's more than a 30% gain, which is pretty freaking amazing. And if it had been a member's game, it would have been close to 60 bucks. So imagine doing that three times at once. I am debating doing it myself, I'm not gonna lie, because if I did three step bets, then plus a run bet, I could probably make a good amount of money. Well, I mean, it's not going to be a lot of money, but I can totally see making about $40. Nah, that's probably about $35, $40 in a month or every month or so by doing three step bets and one run bet, which is not bad uh, considering you're paying about 5 bucks for the step bet membership, on, um, monthly membership, and it'll keep you accountable to doing it because you want to get your damn money back. So... That is it. Again, I will be looking for other apps I can stack on top of this that will pay you. I will keep you guys posted on it, but so far, it's pretty good. And again, you heard my tips. If you want to do a step bet, take a lazy week and then get started on it. So get out there and make some money when you step and when you run. So thanks again for joining me. Go out there, play some games, make some money, spend some money, save some money. Don't get boned. Get boning. <laughs>